It was a mausoleum, then a fortress, a jail, and a papa residence. Hello, I'm Mirta, your official tour guide in Rome and the Vatican. I'm on the west bank of the Tiber, the same side of the Vatican, dominated by the largest, the greatest, and one of the best preserved monuments of the ancient Rome. This is the Mausoleum of Adrian, better known as Castel Sant'Angelo. This is how the mausoleum looks like in 2021. Many changes occurred all along its life, mainly the transformation into the castle named after the angel St. Michael. The new tomb for the imperial family was commissioned by the Emperor Adrian and completed under his successor Antoninus Pius. That happened between the year 125 and 139 of the current era. It was modeled after the first imperial mausoleum built in Rome in the Campus Martius 150 years earlier by the Emperor Augustus. And as like the mausoleum of Augustus, the scale is enormous. Le Pons Elius was named after the Adrian's family, the Gens Elia. The entrance was directly in front of the bridge built by Adrian to connect the area of the Vatican to the ancient Campus Martius. And this is where the staircase or the ramp to reach the central chamber starts. The Helicoida staircase is a kind of spiral ramp that goes up to the central space used as funeral chamber to keep the urn and sarcophagus of the imperial family. The walls was covered with marble and the floor with mosaics. There was an incredible amount of relief and bronze and marble statues. In the 3rd century, the building was incorporated into a city wall circuit built by the Emperor Aurelian and became a fortification. In the year 590, the mystic vision of the angel Michael shooting a sword was intended by Pope Gregory the Great, concluding the plague affecting the population of Rome. This is the moment the imperial mausoleum became Castel Sant'Angelo, the angel castle. An elevated corridor called Passetto di Borgo was built to connect the castle to the Vatican. It was designed to let the popes easily moving from the Vatican to the castle, to take refuge in case the Vatican was under attack. In 1500, the castle became a residence for the Pope and it was redecorated by the best artists in town. The loggia, a little balcony facing the bridge, Ponte Sant'Angelo, was made under the Pope Julius II. And the same Pope also commissioned Michelangelo the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. The Sala Paulina was completely decorated by Perin del Vaga, one of Raphael's students. On the walls are represented the people whose the building is mainly connected, Adrian and the angel San Michael. Since Middle Age, the castle also worked as a prison for very important political prisoners. On the very top of the castle, a terrace let you admire the walled city. Those who know the opera Tosca by Giacomo Puccini may recognize this terrace as the setting of the last act with the death of one of the main protagonists. The history of Castel Sant'Angelo is also the history of Rome. It has been the huge spectator of the main event concerning the city, and its changement reflects the changement of the Roman political power. <laughs>